On April 20th, an explosion ripped through Deepwater Horizon drilling rig. A mile beneath the surface of the ocean, oil began spewing into the water. Because there's never been a leak this size, at this depth, stopping it has tested the limits of human technology. Offshore drilling was returning to the Arctic for the first time in two decades, but the Gulf of Mexico spill proved that a new type of offshore containment vessel was needed. The subsea containment system is an emergency response vessel. It will be deployed in the Arctic Ocean to support the future drilling program. It will deal with recovery of the hydrocarbons, the capping and securing of the well to prevent any further leaks. The vessel would need a submersible dome to cap a spill, subsea and process modules for collecting and separating contaminated water, and a flare boom to safely release the oil. Engineers drew it up, an ambitious two-year project. Superior Energy, the prototype containment systems developer, needed it in half the time. Greenberry Industrial was hired as general contractor and fabricator to make it happen. Greenberry Industrial was started in 1974. We are a fabricator and erector of structural steel, piping, tanks, and pressure vessels. And we can install it all. We have the largest fabrication facilities in the Northwest, so we can not only have the capacity to handle this work, but we can install it in an extremely fast and safe manner. The tight schedule and also the regulatory requirements was very much of a challenge on us, but overcoming this with good planning, good organization, both from Superior and also Greenbury, it was a good environment, good working environment to achieve our goals. Knowing the uh, nuances of the tight schedule, it was extremely important that Greenbury was on board early on with multiple locations so we could start fabrication to be able to meet anywhere near the schedule. We started out with a 315-foot deck barge, and we converted it into an oil spill response vessel. And we basically took what would have normally been a two or two and a half year project and compressed it down into nine months. By October, Greenberry's project execution plan was underway with fabrication at all three Greenberry facilities to build the Arctic Containment System subsea and process modules. It's a great fit because we have the versatility to have the shop we have in Corvallis, Oregon, the shop we have in Vancouver, and the shop we have in Ferndale really gave us the uh, opportunity to expand our fabrication deliverables. In other words, we could fabricate for this particular project in three different locales. They secured and prepared a deep water assembly site and developed a safe, timely, and efficient plan for coordinating multiple teams on site. Having all of that managed everything, schedule, costing, procurement under one general contracting umbrella was huge for us. It allowed us to single source and single point contract a ton of work. In December, 700 employees began on-site assembly, working 6-10 double shift weeks. This is a fast-paced job, I'm nothing like it had ever been built before. Equipment designed that uh, you can't buy off the shelf anywhere. I'm trying to make it all together and uh, not lose track of what's going on and and the changes is pretty high tech and we're trying to do it as fast as we can safely. In January, the pace accelerated. In March, Greenberry was assigned additional scope of work above the main deck of the barge. By then, 1,200 employees were working 12-hour double shifts, seven days a week. We started with a bare site and converted that site into probably a medium-sized shipyard for the United States with about 1,000, 1,200 people working on this site, which is a huge undertaking. For the number of people and the size of this project, the safety record's been excellent. Safety first. We tell guys in our shift change meetings and we walk through safety and quality, safety and quality. Uh, there is nothing more important. I was certainly impressed on site, seeing how that was implemented, and I was very, very impressed. The pace was so intense and the stakes so high, Greenberry's top executives provided daily on-site support. To see the executive team come onto the project on a daily basis definitely shows the commitment that uh, this was certainly a high-profile project for them. 
they understood the ramifications of what Arctic Challenger represents, the industry itself, and the clients that we're serving. As the project deadline neared, Greenberry maintained its focus and priority. When things get very difficult and the pressure really mounts like it is right now, we get better. Uh, we stick together and we perform really well under those circumstances. A lot of clients continually come back to us because they know we thrive under those conditions. To do the amount of work we did meant that a lot of people had to work very hard, very fast, with very little direction. We weren't Greenbury, we weren't Superior, we weren't other contractors. We were one project team, the subsea containment project team. Commissioning for this unique vessel began in August. All work was completed in September. And by October, she was Coast Guard and ABS certified. The one-of-a-kind Arctic Challenger, another fabrication and installation success from a leader in safety and quality. Greenberry Industrial. Performance under pressure.